welcome to this episode of Art with Miss Myra. I'm so very glad that you've joined me today. Hope everyone is doing well today. Today is Thursday, April 8th of 2021. And today, the project that we're going to be working on is going to be a cute little gift that you um, can make and give for a birthday or, you know, if you have a little friend and stuff that, that needs just kind of a little pick-me-up. Um, you know, that would be great. Or, you know, we're going to be, um, we're, this is April and stuff, but in May, on May 1st, May 1st is going, we're going to be doing May Day baskets for people. This would also be a cute little idea and stuff to make for May Day. But it's really something that you guys can have um, that you can make up at any time, like I said, and give to a friend, you know, give to, give to a relative, you know, um, who, just whoever you need a little gift for and stuff, it would be a really good idea, um, you know, to have these supplies on hand so you could just make something up like this really quick and get, be able to give to somebody, okay? So the supplies that we're going to be needing is you're going to be needing an empty uh, cereal box and I've cut this down and stuff to size uh, today. I've already done that uh, before we got started today. Um, and so you're going to need a scissors, of course, to do that, but you're going to need an empty cereal box. Then you're going to need to, uh, you know, go to your local Dollar General or your local Dollar Tree or your local grocery store um, and where they have these boxed uh, candies, you are going to need four of them and you're going to need four of them in the same size, okay, and that's very important and stuff that you get four of them in the same size. Then you're going to need some kind of filler, okay, and this is... Um, stuff that I bought before Easter. It's the Easter egg filler, um, but you know, they have filler all the time year round and stuff in the party uh, section of, you know, your local uh, Dollar General or Dollar Tree. Um, you guys can get them there. Um, maybe you guys have some of those on hand, you know. You can also just cut uh, filler paper. Uh, you know, you can um, just take pieces of paper and just cut, cut it you know, and stuff, and you can get the same effect and stuff as this, okay? Then next, you're gonna need something to put in our little baskets that we're making, okay? So I'm actually making this basket for a really good friend of mine, and um, I so I picked out all of his favorites. Like, he loves Skittles. I got him Skittles. I, I got him these little mini uh, cookies. I got him a drink. Okay, um, and then I got him a Rice Krispie bar because he really likes Rice Krispie bars. And as a special treat, I got him three um, of these uh, candy bars. Uh, I, I bought these candy bars from a friend of mine whose son um, is in Boy Scouts. Um, they're really, you know, high quality uh, candy bar and stuff. And I know that um, that's going to be really appreciated in this little box and stuff. And then lastly, guys, we're going to need a low temperature hot glue gun. Okay, this is most easy to do and stuff with hot glue. Um, if you don't have hot glue, you know, you can um, use tape even or you can use, I don't know, Elmer's glue if, if you have some time to let it dry. Um, but if you want to, you know, make something up pretty quick, you're going to use hot glue, okay? So after I have, I cut, can, I'll tell you how I kind of did this, okay? I arranged my boxes in a square, okay? So I just used the width of the box. I set them up. And then I drew around my big piece of um, cardboard, you know, from my um, cereal box, and then I just cut out around it, okay? And so that gives us a bottom to this, and we want a bottom to this. We don't need a top to this, but we need a bottom to this, okay? And so now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a bead of hot glue on the bottom part of all of my um, little boxes of candy. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that set up. I'm going to, of course, run, run a bead of glue down the side now because I'm, I'm putting my sides together. And this just comes together so quick and easy, guys. 
that is why you know you could actually have even if you don't have like something that is specifically coming up something specifically that you want to have maybe in mind you know for for this kind of a project you guys could go out and get some supplies and have these things on hand just in case you needed to make something for a little gift for someone oops and i set that down too quick gotta get that together on the side that's okay hot glue is pretty sometimes forgiving Okay, and then I'm going to glue this last one on here. And actually, I'm going to turn it kind of like this. And I'm going to put the hot glue here on each one of my little sides. And then on the bottom. Of this. sure and press that all together nicely and there there's our little box and stuff that we're gonna do okay so now I'm going to add in my filler and I don't need a lot of filler but I just want I want something in here and like I said guys you can you can um, you know make your own filler I'm just going to cut this because I don't need all of that. And I'm just going to kind of fluff it up a little bit before I stick it in. These are also really cute as East, little Easter baskets. But like I said, you don't have to use them for Easter baskets. You can use them for, you know, birthday presents or, like I said, May Day presents. Woohoo! May 1st is going to be here before we know it and stuff and we'll be making mayday presents for people so okay now i'm going to start just popping in my random things here for my my friend for for his gift and these are all things that i know that he really really likes so i've got a drink and some cookies in there and some candy bars and then he can, you know, take this apart and eat the candy out of these boxes and stuff too. So this is not the healthiest, but you could make it kind of healthier <laughs> if you wanted to. But this is just a really cute idea and stuff. And like I said, guys, you know, if this is really inexpensive um, way to put together a little gift. You know, I think this whole thing, you know, costs five, five fifty. You know, this was probably eight dollars and stuff to, to put together and stuff, you know, seven or eight dollars and stuff. And and who wouldn't love this little gift? If you if you gave this to a little friend of yours and stuff that you know, maybe they're having maybe they're having a down day, you know, or maybe you want something to give to somebody for a get well present and stuff, you know, that would be awesome and stuff. I I just think this is a, a really neat idea. Um, just an idea and a suggestion for you guys and stuff, you know, to, to maybe have the supplies on hand. So if you um, last minute need something and stuff like this, it's easy to put together um, and you can kind of customize it a little bit and stuff if you have a little bit of time to go out and do a little bit of shopping, but you don't have to. So, all right. So that is the project for today. Hope you guys all enjoyed that and stuff. Hope you guys are having a great day today and be sure to get out and enjoy some of the beautiful weather that we're having and stuff today here. It's absolutely gorgeous in North Dakota today and there's absolute, I mean, there's very little wind. So shocking, right? <laughs> it's usually windy, windy here in North Dakota. So, all right guys, we'll see you next time. And until then, um, we'll just uh, have, a, have a great day and we'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye-bye.